Good morning, girls and boys. I am Dr. Donardo, the principal at Flint Hill. I wanted to take a minute to welcome you all back to in-person learning. If you are here with us at the school right now, we are so excited that you came back to school today. If you're still at home learning virtually, we really miss you and we can't wait until the day where we can all be together at school again. Just have a few reminders for all of our girls and boys, whether you're at home or whether you're at school. If you're at school, you need to wear a mask on the bus and in the building, that is required. If you are staying at home, remember when you go places, wear a mask for your safety. Remember to wash your hands frequently throughout the day, whether you're at home or in person here at school. And stay six feet apart from people that do not live in your house whenever possible. If you look around the school, we have markers on the floor in the hallway and they are six feet apart. So wear a mask, keep your hands clean, and stay six feet apart. Let's talk about schoolwork for a minute. If you have not completed all of the schoolwork from January 4th all the way till February 15th, you need to get that work done and get it in to your child, to your teacher. If you're in person, I hope you brought it all with you this morning. If you're still at home and you have not emailed it or turned it in through Canvas or brought it to the school, please do that before the end of this week. We need to get that work graded and put in the books and you need to get attendance credit for it. We also want to remind you that if you are back to school in person, you need to be on time. 740 is when the bell rings. You must be in your classroom at 740. School dress code procedures from prior to Christmas are all still in place, and so are our rules and our policies. We're going to participate in class and do a great job. We're gonna get along with others. We're going to be respectful of our teachers and our classmates. If you are a virtual student, some of us need to do a better job of logging on every single day so that you can learn all of the things the teachers are teaching you. We are going to be monitoring your attendance on Zoom and I need you to do a great job with that. Please remember, if you came back to school today, you should have returned with all of your materials, your Chromebooks, your books, everything that the teachers sent home with you, and bring a water bottle because the water fountains are not working. So let's finish this school year Wolfpack strong and get busy so that we can get on with the rest of the year and move on to next year. Have a great day, Wolfpack. boys and girls. Today is Wednesday, February the 17th, 2021. And we're going to try this again today. Hopefully, I'm see you are seeing me sitting in the classroom if you are an in-person learner. Okay, that was supposed to have happened yesterday. It didn't because, you know, 2020 just won't go away. Um, we were affected by the weather yesterday. So uh, we learned virtually from home and worked virtually from home. Boys and girls, um, I hope you uh, were able to um, 
pay attention to Dr. DiNardo's video, giving us instructions for the rest of the year. I know it was on yesterday, if you saw it on yesterday's new show, but I wanted to make sure that everyone had the opportunity to be able to see it, okay? So it's very, very important we follow her lead because she is the leader of the Wolfpack. Now, boys and girls, a couple of announcements. Don't forget that on February the 25th, there's gonna be a math strategies session. This is more for your parents, but please remind them about it. There's gonna be Zoom links at uh, 7.30 a.m. and at 1.30 p.m. on that day. Check out the Flint Hill website for more information and also information that has already been provided to you by Dr. DiNardo in some of her emails. So that's very important to know, boys and girls. Um, again, we're so happy to have you back today. Um, I have a note here from Ms. Uh, McNulty and Ms. Richardson in the Media Center. They say, we are so excited to have our in-person Wolfpack students back in the building. The Media Center will be celebrating Black History Month with lots of books out for you to come and check out. Histories, biographies, fiction, and everybody books are, to, are there to be considered. Um, it says that we will begin early morning checkout by grade level tomorrow, Wednesday, February the 17th. And I'm going to take it that we're still doing that today. Um, check with your teacher as to what early morning uh, your grade is assigned to. Um, we look forward to seeing the members of the Wolfpack back in the media center. And that, again, is from Ms. McNulty and Ms. Richardson. So take an opportunity to check, the, check out those books. Um, in the media center when you have your uh, selected time to go there, uh, boys and girls. I uh, also wanted to uh, let you know that today is another special day. As I had told you many times, February is just full of special days. And today is National Act of Random Kindness Day. Um, boys and girls, I've got a little slide here. And basically, um, it, it, there's no talking to it. They are, they are quotes. Um, maybe your teachers will read them to you, but I kind of kind of put those out there more for the adults and for the read the children that are able to read, okay? Because they would come closer to understanding them. But for you young kids, and even for the old kids, and even for the older adults, act of ra random act of kindness day. There's two kinds of people in this world. There are givers, and there are takers. And you have to decide what kind of person you are, okay? Um, some people, it's very easy for them to show kindness. And some people, they, they don't, they struggle with that. They're more of a taker. We want everyone at Flint Hill to be someone who can show kindness. And that's what we need, boys and girls, because right now we're starting back into school again after we've been gone for so long. And it's been such a tough year for us. Um, we need to be able to show kindness and patience. That's what's going to get us through to the end of the year, okay? It doesn't matter how little the kindness is or how large the kindness is. Everyone needs kindness. Um, boys and girls, I, I want you to practice today by trying to show kindness. If it's nothing but a smile to someone, you don't know what that person's going through at home. So just a smile sometimes is all that somebody needs to make their day. A kind word is always appreciated. You know, doing something kind for someone, if you see somebody drop something and help, and help them pick it up, that's showing kindness. Opening the door for someone, that's showing kindness. Boys and girls, please, please try to show some kindness around the wolf pack today and every day, not just today. Um, I hope that you uh, take this to heart. I hope you are not going to be one of those that just receives the kindness and does not give it. There are those types, and we don't want the wolf pack to be that way. And I do want to apologize for this flickering in my background, but I'm not at school doing this. I am at home, and my lighting is a little bit different here. So, boys and girls, please excuse that as my, and my random act of kindness asking you nicely to forgive me. Um, have a great day, boys and girls. Show kindness everywhere you go. If you walk by the, uh, the front office and you see Miss Rhodes in there, give her a little wave. I'm sure she would appreciate it, okay, because she, she's uh, in the front office have had a, a rough time uh, this year with all the duties that they have. So, boys and girls, with that being said, we're going to move on into our show. You're going to have an HBCU highlight for the day. 
you're going to have your Black History trivia for the day. You're going to have the PBIS commercial if you're still uh, wondering about that. The weather, everything. Nothing's changed, boys and girls. But we want you to have a great day today at Flint Hill. And welcome back. Until tomorrow, see you later, guys. Wednesday, January 17th, 2021. At some point, we will get back on schedule around here, boys and girls. Today's weather is um, looking pretty good. Today's high is 50 degrees and a low of 26 tonight. Everybody enjoy your day and we will see you back here tomorrow morning. Please stand and pay respect to our flag and country. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, the Republic, which expands one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Jasmine Williams, and I'm a graduate of Howard University, the HBCU of all HBCUs. HBCUs are so important to our culture. Not only will you learn in the classroom, but you'll learn survival skills that only you can learn at an HBCU. I remember being on the campus of Howard University, taking in its rich traditions and history. I met all of my best friends at college, and most of my connections led to the greatest internships, which then led to the greatest jobs. Today, I'm successfully working in the sports industry. 
I'm also an active member of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. We are on top of the world right now with our Howard University alumna and my sorority sister, Kamala Harris, serving as Vice President of the United States. I can sleep knowing that no matter where I am in the world, that I can always depend on my HBCU and Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated Network. Welcome back, boys and girls. Are you ready for your Black Trivia History questions for this week? Get ready. We're going to do these uh, grade level by grade level. The answers your teachers are going to give you, okay? So to give you time to think about it, or even if maybe you need to research it. So I'm going to give you the questions. Your teachers can tell you if the answer is correct, okay? Are you ready? Kindergarten, get ready. When was Black History first celebrated? So that's your question, kindergarten. You think about it, come up with the answer, and let your teacher tell you if it's correct. Let's move on to first and second grade. What black athlete lit the, lit the Olympic flame in the 1996 Atlanta Games? So you think about it, let your teacher tell you the answer so you can see if you were correct. Third and fourth grade, your question is, what contribution did Katherine Johnson make to NASA? So you think about that, okay? And when you come up with your answer, see if you are correct. Fifth grade, lad, this is your question for today. Who was the first African-American to receive the Nobel Peace Prize and why? So you have your discussion with your um, classmates and with your teacher, come up with your answers and see if you're correct. And stay tuned and we'll do this again on Thursday, which is tomorrow. Have a great day, boys and girls. Hey, boys and girls, Coach Owens B here, live from the school storeroom with some exciting PBIS news for you today. So now it is time for you to start spending all those PBIS points you've been earning for being honest, organized, well-mannered listeners. So the first thing you can spend your points on is each month we are going to raffle off four baskets. These wonderful baskets here. Here's an example of one. So we have game baskets, sports baskets, play-doh baskets, all kind of goodies for you. So the cost to enter a raffle is 20 points. So you can spend 20 points to be entered into the raffle and we'll raffle them off at the end of the month starting this month in February. So that's the first thing. Now the second thing is also starting in February, if you follow me over here, we have grade level treasure boxes. And in our treasure boxes we have cups, book covers, magazines, squishy balls, pencils, pens, all kind of goodies. So the top boy and girl from each class every other week gets to come to the school storeroom and choose an item from the treasure box. So we will do that twice a month. So keep earning those points so you get a chance to come to the treasure box. Virtual students, your prizes will be mailed to you in the mail. So boys and girls, keep earning those points and we're gonna start getting our student incentives starting this month. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.